What's going on you guys, this is the Infofox Got Gears channel and today we're reviewing a gas mask so I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Um, so, as you guys know, the coronavirus is happening and everyone's going to eventually need protection so that's why I'm here to make a review on a new gas mask I have. Um, for this review, we're going to be reviewing something different. I know from the past we reviewed the um, GP5 and the Soviet PFG gas mask, but today we have something brand new and it takes NATO filter and I'm surprised to have this in my hand because I did a fair trade for this one so before we get onto it um, I know a youtuber that would definitely like this because this is probably a vintage mask around a 2000 era and probably 1990s but here it is we have it in our hand and that, that person I'm talking about is the Grim Page Paintball and Cosplay channel and here we have the one and only the US M40. So this is the Mask M40 series, but it's the US M40. So I'm not too sure if it's the A1 or A2. Um, Try did a lot of research about it, and the uh, they both look identically the same, except for the uh, drinking valve is a little bit in towards the nose, and the the other drinking valve is towards your chin. I don't know too much about the uh, drinking valve, but that's probably not important. Um, so, so we're going to open the bag and take a close review. So I kind of uh, took a look at this mask before I reviewed it. And the guy who trained me was a brand new mask actually because the flip cards and the lenses have been open and the filter is pretty brand new. And then the mask, I had cl I, cl I cleaned it out because it has um, silk uh, powder, silk, um, talcum powder. So I kind of cleaned it out. So here we have the, um, the US M40 with the uh, shaded lenses. It's hard to take them off, so I'm not gonna go troubles with it. But besides, it looks pretty cool with it. So here we have the SM40 with the Chinese TF1 filter. If you guys are wondering, I do have the USM40 filter and it's exactly right here. It's pretty green. It's pretty brand, uh, It's to me it's brand new because it's been vacuumized into a USM40 uh, filter container where it I pulled the plastic out and it officially released all the air out, so it's been vacuumized. So this is a brand new filter. And then we have the latex um, rubber coating for the uh, M40, so it's like in case you want to put chemical, if any chemical attack, it's a chemical hood coating. Um, to me, I, tr I tried it out, it was pain in the butt. It took a lot of time to put it in there, so I'm like, forget it. That's probably not important to me, but... And then it came with lenses, unopened lenses, so brand new. And I just opened these like just before I record this uh, flip cards to show you guys how to operate the uh, US M40. I have two of them, so for some reason I don't know why I got two, but it gave me two cards. So it's a brand new set with this. I really don't know what this is. It's a waterproof chemical biology biological mask so it's a waterproof bag or something it feels pretty heavy and if I think this is the hoodie I think I don't know I may have to pause it later in the video just to open this but it's pretty legit so I'll take a look at this okay so um so it comes with two cards the um both of them are different brightness and they teach you how to operate this mask, even though I already know how to operate a gas mask. Um, as of the Info Gas Fox Got Gears channel, I did um, the Soviet PMG and uh, the Soviet GP5 gas mask. And so, for right now, we're going to review the M40. So the M40 is special to me because it takes a 40, uh, 40 NATO filter, so that way I don't have to longer deal with the crappy uh, gas filter. Unfortunately. Now they released the uh, adapter to fit a Gus mask into a 40 millimeter filter. Thanks to Weapon and Stuff channel and eBay, this guy actually created it, the attachment where you put a 40 Gus. But anyway, that's another time to review that. So the gas mask itself works pretty well. I have tested it out with air pressurizing, but I haven't tested it out from like Febreze and everything. And the reason why I have a Chinese CF1 filter in it because I do not want to ruin this. Um, filter because I don't want to make it smell like Febreze or Axe 
so I'm gonna put that aside in the bag. But this is pretty nice, legit bag to have for me to, you know, carry it around. Especially with the COVID-19 happening, this is probably a perfect mask to wear around public. Just don't scare anyone and don't dress for very weird, like you're about to rob something. <laughs> Anyways, um, Chinese CF1 filter, and it's a size medium, so I took a look at it, and it's a size M, so for medium, and don't have the production date. And it has a U.S. symbol in it, showing that it's a U.S. gas mask. Um, so tell me, let me guys in the comment below what this thing is. I try to see what it is. I really don't know what it is. I, I believe what it says right here is two thousand and two. So I think this gas mask was produced and made in two thousand two. Not two hundred percent sure. If it was made in two thousand two, then my best bet is probably it's a A two gas mask. But anyways, um, I might do a test on this mask like right now. Um, so, uh, let me get the whole entire, um, restroom, uh, set up so I can uh, actually test the mask. But before we do, um, I'm just going to describe the three items. So it came with a brand new lenses. So this is for in case, you know, if your lenses, the, the, the lens right here, if it breaks or cracks or scratches, you can replace them. Um, obviously I have a shaded, um, lenses too, and they're plastic. And I think it's yeah, it's very look like it's very hard to break. So anyway, so here you have the um, voice style frown, the voice emitter. Now the voice emitter is right here, and this is the voice style frown. So you both you can hear voices through this two distance, and here you have the thread, so you can just like unscrew and screw it on. And the the most thing I found something weird is that uh, when I was trying to screw a gas filter in there, it kind of took a little while. Uh, and then the time comparison, this is quicker to screw a fret in this mask, more quicker than the GP5. But the GP5 is a cheap mask. Uh, it's a cheap surplus mask, and I'm highly highly recommend not to have this as a surplus um, survival prep wear. If anything's good for cosplay, but if you want to be a vintage man and wear this, then be my guest. Just stick with the Chinese TF1 or buy the uh, Polish it, the FP5 filter. Um, you can specifically buy it on eBay. But anyways, um, so the, they came with lenses, and this I believe is a biological chemical hood. I could be wrong. It could be something else. I'll figure it out. Like after I pause here. And I have the latex um, hoodie. I might put that on the mask too, but then I, at the same time I don't want to because it was really pain the butt to put it on. The most hard part is the out valve. This is where the out valve goes, and it's pretty pain the butt to do it. I feel like I have to take this plastic thing and put it on and do all over. Yeah, so I would want to avoid the troubles of that. So that's got to put aside and the instructions. Um. If you guys, I officially have Instagram, so if you guys want the actual picture view of this instructions, let me guys know down in the comment below, so I can actually uh, take a picture of these and send these on Instagram, showing showing the instructions how to run a USM40. I'm pretty sure some of you people don't have these, but I do. Um, definitely um, legit, probably useful for so that we someone else is going to use the gas mask like well all right so i'm going to pause right here so i'm going to check what this thing is out and i'll show you guys in the camera all right um it smells it smells like a if i was opening a new uh you know like like a um, floaty you smell that plastic rubbery smell yeah that smell i remember that smell so I discovered this is where you put your mask inside of here, so that it, when so when you go underwater, you at least have this in your mask. And then this thing is extremely sticky. My hands are sticky right now. It's not like a gorilla glue or the permit glue sticky. It's just like it's meant to be sticky enough so I can um, stick together and and then we'll create a very good seal so that we water won't get inside the mask.
anyways, so now I know what this is. Thank so I figured it out. Uh, I'm gonna test the mask out now with the uh, Chinese TF1 filter. Uh, I'm gonna see if it's pressurized. If it fails the pressurizing test, then I will have to like. Um, I have a German filter, so that could be the alternative um, testing. That's another filter I forgot to review about. But anyways, I'm gonna pause it here so we can set up the whole restroom so we can test it out. All right, guys. So I'm just fixing the camera for a little bit and. So we're going to test out the um, M40, see if the filter works, and I mean see if the filter actually does work on the gas mask. And if it's not pressurized, then I'm using the wrong filter. The German filter, however, is a 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter feet filter NATO, so I'm going to try to test the filter out too if it does, this doesn't work. So here we go. <laughs> I can tell you right now, it has a very distinctive smell in this mask. Compared to the GV5, it smells normal, but for this one, it just smells awfully weird. And you can just see the straps are tight enough. Oh my god, how are you whipping and stuff to do it, man? It's just... Okay. So it's tightened right now. Let's just make sure if it's tight. Okay. Alright, well, it's tight because I can feel the harness hurting my back head, so it must be working. So, let's try and test it out with the uh, spray. Let's go ahead. Yep, it passed the pressure reason test, and I just sprayed it. So far, it works because it's supposed to smell like deodorant. Not deodorant, but it has that deodorant smell, even though it's not deodorant. Yeah, I don't smell anything, so this filter is working right now. I'm going to take it off. <coughs> oh, good lord. Man, it's been a while I made a gas mist review. <coughs> I forgot how that smells. Oh, my God. Another thing I've been noticing. Mm, oh, I'm sorry, guys. That's strong. All right. I may have to, like, um, cut. Uh, I'm going to have to, like, pause the video so I can mm, talk better. Man, I smell stinging, man. That spray was expired. I could use and tell it's bad. Hold on. All right, guys, so I tested out. Oh, my God, the blurriness. All right, so I tested the mask out, and um, it performed really well. Considering it's a good mask to have with you for survival use, um, I tested out, and no um, side smell of the, um, the, uh, the spray. Obviously, the spray is pretty expired. I just tested it out and I'm like, oh my god. I just took the mask out. I didn't realize how expired it was. So, I just, it's not going to do any bad effect to my restroom. It's just going to like smell a little bit, not awfully, but strong. It has that kick. It smells like it has a little bit of alcohol in it. But anyways, um, this thing perfectly works. No air leaks. Obviously, I just sprayed deodorant. I accidentally sprayed the wrong spray. It was a deodorant spray. But as I've been noticing, <laughs> the lenses are doing it's what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> so I think this was a very successful mask that I just they made the US M40. And it's pretty decent. No air leaks. And it fit my head pretty free well. Uh, those of you guys are asking me what's your head size. So... For a Russian gas mask, I wear a size 3, which size 3 is a large. So if I was using a head harness mask like an M40, then I would recommend you buying a size M just for 
fact that it fits on me for well. If size 3 doesn't fit you perfectly, not well, and you wear a size 4 GP5, then the head harness would be predictable, say it's a size L. But I got a size M, but you know, it's a head harness, so it's adjustable. So if you, if you do have a big head, it's still adjustable straps and everything. You can always buy the custom ones where they adjust it way longer. So in case your head's like pretty big and humongous, which I highly doubt anyone's head is giant enough not to fit a gas mask. But um, it performed really well. I love the gas mask, the looks of it. I even like the shading. It performed really well. In fact, um, the, the chemicals that sprayed on there are not sticking on the rubber really well. So that's just to show that uh, the uh, chemical that I just sprayed on the mask, specifically towards the mask, just just it's doing it's what it's supposed to be doing. And I may might do a part two test and test with the uh, latex rubber just to see if um, any liquid gets on the mask. I might throw a little bit of water in my mask just to see if it does the job or if it's just terribly, um, it doesn't good. So like if it's raining outside and you know you have to wear it because you know the chemicals, then I would see if we can get the gas mask chemical in there. And then um, after that, I might do a um, um, NBC suit um, cosplay show since I do have a 1990 or I think because, yeah, it was a 1990 um, Desert Camo with the uh, hoodie. And it's actually meant to... The hoodie that I have, uh, what a coincidence, it's it's, it's supposed to cover uh, gas mask. So if you have an M40, it's supposed to tighten up the strings up and it's supposed to match the size, the shape as the uh, USM40. So I might do a um, cosplay on that. I don't have the uh, camouflage vest to show off with. So it's going to be like... A, um, a civilian style made um npc suit um so there you guys have it the uh us m40 and what do you guys think about the us m40 to me i would rate this uh 10 out of 10 of 10 only because this is probably my only 40 nato gus fred no 40 nato fred mask versus the gus fredded um soviet pmg um soviet gp5 sorry I'm getting these gas masks names so wrong, so do do please do mind that I have really come up with a lot of gas mask naming. But the GB5, it's pretty okay, it's decent, just here and there it, it kind of runs bad if you don't put the right filter in there. Um, but the, the gas mask itself is pretty decent. So, um, uh, what I think about the GP, uh, not the, this us m40 i say it's probably better than any gas mask i reviewed on um so the price range for this mask if you wanted to get one at a surplus would be price range to 150 to 250 or sometimes 200 um they can go on ebay and it'd be same price as what i just told you guys um pretty much it's an expensive mask but it's a pretty decent mask to have so when Using it for survival, or if you're using it as of today, the coronavirus would be good use. Um, if you're, if you're one of those people who want a good survivalist mask and you can't spend around that price, then I would not recommend getting a USM40 if you're trying to get the budgets. Um, there is a gas mask out there called the Israeli M15. I would highly recommend you to get that gas mask if you really want to like um, get a good deal on the mask that takes 40. Uh, 40 naval fretted mask and it works like the SM40 get the uh, Israeli M15 mask. It's pretty nice and decent. I might make a review on that too um, Later in the year That's like I said, I said my old videos later in the year We're gonna do uh, a new gas mask review and here we are. We finally have a new mask to review on um, So for this mask I like the story with this I kind of traded my old army ASAU digital camo only because I have like three of them in my closet, so I end up like trading one for it. The guy wanted a size medium, so I had a medium size jacket for this. So he, I had a pants and a jacket. I traded it. So don't worry, I still have the uh, two uniforms left, the same age charter. But I might do another cosplay with this one because I did a little messing around and I found it. 
prevalently you can put a gas mask, a Comtech headset, and a fast helmet all at the same time while wearing the mask. And it's pretty cool. Like, pretty darn cool. Um, so this, the filter itself will take NATO, like I said, too many times. Let me just try and screw this. If I can try and screw it in. Hold on. So, oops, sorry. I'll just to... So it comes out. This is a Chetty CF1. It's oh, obviously can fit on a GP5. I know you people out there who are so mad saying, oh, that doesn't fit on a Russian. It does, actually. Um... Because that's why I'm going to show you. It fits on well. It lines up well. Twists really well. It takes a little time to twist it. And then boom it fits. So I think this is a multi-filter tool for use for anything. With a 40 NATO gust fret. A NATO. And to fit. Uh, sorry. To the Russian gust threaded mask. To a 40 millimeter NATO fret. So sorry if I got confused with the Gust and NATO, actually. I had a pretty hard day, so I kind of forgot the difference. Almost forgot there. Um, so I'm going to take that out. Um, so if you're wondering, I did mention I had a German filter. And yeah, it does fit in here, obviously. The German is actually, it goes to the, um, I forgot what gas mess was it called, or the name of it. But it, this is the same filter that goes on that, um, that's that, um, the Drager gas mask. We just put it in and boom, it fits really well. And I don't even hear scratches or nothing. So this fits perfectly well with the gas mask. Um, and what it looks like the inside of the mask. Um, so if I could try to move it, let me pause it right here so I can um, unstrap the harness. Sorry, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so this is what it looks like from your mask view. So, obviously, if I put the camera here, yeah, it's a pretty good view. Uh, the lenses are shaded, so you might have a hard time seeing through that. Um, so, pretty much, that's what it looks like inside of it. It has a two-voice style frame, I believe. If I'm wrong, please let me know and don't say it in a negative way. Um... And that's pretty much it about the uh, 40, the M40 gas mask. It's a pretty nice gas mask. It's uh, pretty survival-ish, actually. It pretty it survived through a old um, spray. <laughs> that spray bottle was so expired, it kind of like it just stinged the whole. It stinched the uh, whole restroom. I'm pretty sure right now it's probably killing all the bad smell of the restroom and getting that new smell. Uh, but. There you guys have it. So smash and like this channel. And um, if you guys want more content, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell so I can make more videos. Something like this, I know I'm going to say it's going to be another year to make another gas mask review. So this one for 2020, we have officially made a new gas mask review. So those you people who are commenting, make another gas mask review, make a gas mask review. I have now, and I have the US M40 with a, with a big surprise. At first I thought I was going to review the Israeli M15, but I have the US M40 mask. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and leave me guys in the comment below. Which you guys know more about the gas mask than I do.